Hello, my name is Matthew Remus. I'm the Director of Information Technology for Kempenfeld Imaging Systems. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to install drivers for your Toshiba photocopier. First things first, you need to open up an internet browser on your computer. Then you need to navigate to our website, kempenfeld.ca. Once that page loads, you're going to want to click on the What Services Do I Require box. And you're going to click on I Need Help with My Copier. Once this page loads here, you will find the video that we're recording here to walk you through the video to get to drivers. But you'll also find this, the download drivers link for Toshiba. Click on that link. This link will load a web page. Then you'll be able to find the drivers for the printers. All you have to do is scroll down on the page here, find your color or black and white copier, find your model in the list. Down here, you keep scrolling. You can click on something there. And then once you've clicked on that, it will load a page like this. You'll find the current eBridge current drivers box. You want to click on that. Then you want to click on the first one here for a Windows computer. Windows eBridge Universal um, 64 and 32 print driver. And you'll click on the zip file here. If you are a Mac user, Mac users have to scroll down a little bit more. And you'll see here, you'll have the color one-sided and color duplex. You have to choose which one you would prefer. We commonly install the single-sided color that one there, and you'll have to download the, the GZ file. So I'm going to go ahead and download these drivers now. It just takes a minute for the drivers to download. So once they're downloaded, you want to open your zip file or your GZ file. then you want to extract the zip file and just hit the extract all button at the top then click on the extract button here a progress bar will come up I'm just gonna close the zip file in the background to make it easy and then it'll open up the setup file. So if you want to double click on this, ESS setup.exe. It's going to take a moment to open the software. You hit yes to this box where it's allowing you to make changes to your device. Then you'll get a pop-up like this. You'll click on your next button down here. You'll accept the user agreement. And then you'll wait on the screen for a moment until your copier shows up. Then you click on your copier down here. It will have an IP address like this, like a 192.168 or a 10.000, something like that. You're going to want to click on the one that you want, and then you click on install. going to go ahead and install the device. You're going to want to do this two times, once for color and once for black and white. I normally label the first one color and then the second one black and white. So as soon as this is done processing, make that. I normally go in here and go into the printer properties and rename the printer. For my case, it's going to be black and white this time. And then I click finish. And I will have to install it again, running the same procedure that I just did for the color version. Now, 
I'm going to click on the start menu. I'm going to type in printer. And then printers and scanners will come up. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And then I'm going to go find the black and white printer that I just installed. Which is right there. I'm going to click this manage button. Then I'm going to click on printer preferences because I need to change it from auto, meaning color and black and white, to just black and white. So you do that by opening the preferences button there on the left. Then you click on at the very bottom here, you'll see a color. It'll be set to auto. You want to switch that to black and white. Then you hit the apply button, the OK button, and then, then you can hit the back button here. And you'll notice that now I have a color driver and a black and white driver for my printer. If you have any further questions, you can email us at support at kevinfelt.ca or phone us at 705-733-8881. Thank you.